Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hi everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer, we have a Weyerbacher Fireside Ale. Guys, this is last year's edition of this. I bought this one last year. It has a bottle on date of, I was looking at it just a second ago, January, January 6, 2012 on this one. So, this one is a couple of months past a year. So, here it is in the uh, end of April. And uh, we're just now doing this one. Uh... 7.5% on this one, guys, so it will sell her for a while, and it's not hot forward. Uh, they usually release this in January of every year, so I've had this one a little over a year, not quite a year and a half. So let's see what this one brings, guys. They're out of Pennsylvania. This is technically classified as a smoked beer. The uh, food pairing for this cuisine is a barbecue, the cheeses are the peppery, pepper jack, Monterey, sharp, blue, cheddar, and the meat is beef, smoked meat, game, grilled meat, and salmon. The glassware is a pint, becker, the side and the mug, uh, side dale, just about anything you want to pour it in. Just pour it into something. So let's get the cap off of this bad boy and see what this smoked beer is all about. Let's go down the center, see if we can get any kind of head action on this one. Oh, just a, not really, I ain't got a whole lot of salmon, just a slight bit in the bottom, not much at all. Over into the light, it is a brown caramel color, guys. I cannot see the bulb through it, but I can see the light coming through it, so fairly cloudy, semi-cloudy, guys. Let's get in the glass. Didn't pour a very big head, and I poured it fairly aggressive. So let's get a nose on it. Rich caramel malt with a hint of smokiness in there. Maybe just a little bit of toffee. The, the rich caramel malt is what I'm getting. Smells pretty good. Let's give it a hit. Cheers, everybody. nice. Just a little hint of the alcohol, not much. It's fairly refreshing, fairly easy drinking, caramel, toffee, and a light hint of smokiness. Very pleasant. Well, guys, spread out of the fridge. 40 degrees. I'll be right back. We'll do the final chug on this one. It looks decent. There's nothing to write home about, but I believe it's a good beer. I'll be right back, guys. Hello, buddy. I'm back. Got just a little bit left. This beer, <laughs> this beer has a slight hint of smokiness and caramel and toffee, like I told you before, and that's about it. Maybe just a hint of some dark fruit, but nothing special, nothing extra special anyway. Fairly, fairly ordinary. Uh, not super impressed with this one, guys. Final chunk. Nah, not impressed with this one, guys. Uh, definitely a lot better beers than this. And kind of disappointed with, with Weyerbacher. They uh, they usually do some really top-notch stuff. And this is not one of them. I probably won't be buying this one again, guys. Uh, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a six, which is a B. Uh, definitely not an A beer, and I may be a little too generous with the B. Uh, it didn't impress me at all, guys. Uh, if you've had this one, give me some comments back on this one, whether you like it or not. Beer Advocate has 85, which is in their good range. And uh, Beer Advocate comes, I mean, Red Beer comes up with 86 overall and 72 in the style. So, I don't think they were impressed either with this one. So, with that being said, uh, if you've had it, give me some comments back on this one, guys, whether you liked it or didn't like it. Didn't, didn't ring any bells for me. Uh, 
I wasn't impressed. I was kind of disappointed with this one. So, uh, uh, don't know what to, what to say other than uh, if you've had it, let me know what you think of it. Uh, uh, I don't think it has diminished with being in the fridge for a year, but it may have. It may have lost some of its zip and zing uh, of being over a year old. So, uh, that's where I'm going to give it, guys. That's what they got it. Let's go see what's in the fridge bar. Got two openers. Got this one and the dark blue one. That's only two left. If somebody wants one, better shop quick. Plenty of shirts from smalls to triple X's, guys. Let's go see what's in the fridge.